Uh, somebody said, oh, uh, well, I'm on mute. Oh, Kodak Black update. Yeah, Kodak Black, he actually hit me on DMs. He said, act, what's your number? Me and him, we going to talk. I did talk to his manager, if you didn't know. Talk to his manager. Well, not, well, let me just back off with that. It wasn't necessarily his manager. He don't, I don't think he has a manager. Talk to some, there were some people around him, and they confirmed to me, which I reported on a YouTube video, it wasn't him that got shot. Basically, they're saying that, yo, there was nigga shit going on in that club. They were there. They then went to McDonald's, which was ironically the next door over. And basically, like, yeah, there were shots fired, but it wasn't at them. It was some other niggas I was getting in. Clearly, they ain't trying to give too much information up. And basically saying that Kodak ain't into it with nobody who would be shooting at, shooting at him. And basically saying, please don't think that the producer guy, which is Southside, is, is the shooter or whatever. You know what I mean? So basically say he's cool. I believe Kodak, you know, and I think really, if you ask me, Kodak's hit me up to tell me, like, yo, act. Like, it might seem otherwise. And, yeah, I did kind of get into it. I said something about young boy whatever, whatever, or I said something about whatever, but I really don't want to be in no bullshit. I think that's what the temperature that Kodak's on. Kodak ain't pussy. You know, Kodak, man, Kodak hopped out of a Porsche Panamera and shot up some crib. Like, I, re I did that story for y'all. Kodak, if he need to do some shit, he'll do it his damn self. That's not what he's on, but he obviously, you know, is trying to stay out of jail. So, salute to him for that. And I respect it. Um, yeah. Drake update. I hit. I did hit Drake about the uh, Rod Wave thing. And I said, yo, did Rod Wave actually, was Rod Wave supposed to be on Lemon Pepper Freestyle? And he said, yo, act, yeah, he should have been. And I'm like, imagine Rod Wave on Lemon Pepper Freestyle. If you don't know the story goes, Rod Wave was supposed to be on Lemon Pepper Freestyle. He did the verse. He didn't like how it came out. And he said, yo, listen, because it's such a big deal being on a track with Drake, he didn't want to get washed or whatever the case is. So he said, yo, I'm just not going to do this song now. I could do a song later with Drake, which I think that's having the utmost confidence where you're like, yo, I don't have to do a song with Drake when he want me to do it. I'll do it when I feel it's right. I think that's dope. Um, update on Lil Uzi. I don't know too much about his upcoming music. I ain't gonna lie to you. Migos update. Oh, um, interestingly enough, take off. Hit me and say, "Act, what's your number?" So, me and him, we gonna get on a call. Um, I'm listen. I'm gonna make sure I listen to this phone call on fifty speakers because I won't be here like yo. What you say? No, nah, I ain't gonna do that. So you know, salute to uh, take off. He's clearly you know ready for the Migos come back in their new wave and all that. So, you know, salute to take off for, like, what he's been doing. Let me see. What else? Yo, I'm going to talk about the young boy shit. Yo, this young boy fucking, yo, I, I, I got all the court documents. The young boy shit is hilarious. From how they describe young boy ran from the cops, how he's in, like, some luxury Maybach, like, Mercedes Maybach truck, to how they describe, like, him and his homies get locked up. And pretty much, it's like, I guess they once had, like, a discussion already. Everybody copped out to all the guns. And they looked at young boy and he said, I don't, I didn't know those guns. And the only reason why they locked him up, because their DNA don't, don't even prove that young boy touched the gun. They saw it on the fucking cameraman's footage that young boy was around guns, bro. Like... Um, those court documents so or so revealing. Young boy got a crib. He bought a crib for six hundred thousand dollars in Utah, which was supposed to be for his one of his baby mamas and stuff like that. But he was staying with her. Yo, young boy just a wild nigga. Man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, Joe Button update. I give out Joe Button update tomorrow. Chat, um, I'm, I'm, oh, a podcast update? Oh, which I guess a little, first of all, it's a good thing, so I'm going to stop acting like, which I am upset, like, you know, I'm, I've just been real sour-faced with a lot of people. I want to just get to the shit. 
it's it's lightweight a bidding war between two major companies over me. I kid you not. Um, I don't know if I could whoever I end up going with. I don't know if I could say the other one, but you'll kind of probably guess it. Like the competitors. Anyway, um, other than that, we'll see how it goes. I, I'm I can't rush the process anymore. Trust me. Like uh, I got to be a good sport. But other than that. Um, academics returns to complex. I am going back to complex. You know, remember all the things like, oh, I got fired. Yeah, okay. So complex is um, bringing back my show, which is on the sticks. So on the sticks is coming back for another season, and we're figuring out all that has to do with, you know, bringing that show back. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit, but on the sticks is coming back. And again, I own the show. Complex licensed it from me. And, um, you know, we've had a good partnership. You know, when people, you know, salute to Complex, I'm not one of the people who leave a company or, like, you know, I've always told Complex, like, yo, everyday struggle, that's my baby, that's my heart, I love it so much. And I always told him, I said, hey, I leveraged everything to keep everyday struggle going as long as I could. And, you know, it's not going anymore, but they hit me up and they said, hey, we know you loved everyday struggle but are you cool to do an, a season of on the sticks and obviously they've, they've pitched and mentioned other shows um but the relationship with me and complex is cool and i definitely love my show on the sticks and yes i'm definitely down to do it so that will be coming back all the things we said i've got fired from complex how are they gonna explain you having a season with the people who fired you. Anyway, but it's all good. You know what I mean? I'm not doing it for those people. It is what it is. Um, give me give me a week or a week and a half for this podcast stuff. I really want to make an announcement, like, so bad. But other than that, you're going to see on the sticks, what else do I have coming up? I just have a bunch of other meetings that's a little bit, limbo right now so anyway chat that's what's going on with me other than that like I'm, I'm providing more content streaming youtube uploads obviously you know instagram it is what it is um i appreciate all y'all somebody says act joe show oh yeah no no me, me and joe there's always and actually truth be told i'm gonna be very honest with y'all because I've always left it up to Joe to kind of, like, get a situation. With a few situations that I'm dealing with, I might approach Joe with, like, hey, yo, Joe, these are partners who would be down to be doing an act Joe show. Hey, you go talk to them about what money you need. I'll talk to them, and then let's see if we can do it. So I'm excited about doing some shit like that, which would happen really soon. A Boogie update. Shit, man. I'm, I'm scared for A Boogie. Hey. By the way, everybody who's talking about like 6 9 is growing their situation. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know she like... It appears she covered up a tattoo. Bro, all I'm gonna just say like... Yo, some people are online like... Yo, yeah, some of y'all are really like delusional. That wasn't fake. Like people do have relationship issues or whatever the case is. Um, I think they sorted th their issues out, and I'm very proud of both of them. I know they love each other, so good for them. Um, other than that, R Rory and Millie Mall, we'll address them tomorrow. Young Thug update, he's in the studio with Lil Wayne. I never thought, yo, it's still spooky to me that Lil Wayne could be around Birdman or Thug without ever really bring into question publicly and i'm gonna tell you why i say publicly publicly that somebody had him shot at and pretty much all signs said it was birdman or or thug and maybe they had that private conversation and it, it doesn't need to be clarified among people like me but i don't think you're gonna you do that to me i don't think we could be cool sorry jeffrey epstein update he's dead um, little TJ sales is around 60,000 right now, so it's cool. 
Lil Wayne gave Tori his flowers. All right, cool, cool, cool. Chat, I'm getting off here for the night.